Hey everybody, with John Walk, Jeff Reinhardt here. Welcome to another edition of LL Basketball Update, coming to you from McCaskey. If these walls could talk, John. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Been here a lot in my life. Cool gym. Dropping by on Red Tornado Boys Basketball Practice today. Talk a little McCaskey, talk a little girls' hoops. Get you caught up with the holiday break coming up soon. Let's talk boys first. What do you got? All right, it's a busy week of league games, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'll give you a couple boys games to watch this coming Friday, at least ones that I have my eye on. First off, I'm going to be covering the Warwick at Cedar Crest Section 1-2 crossover matchup. Falcons are looking to avenge a 72-47 to loss to Warwick Ooh. in last year's LL semifinals. Crest okay. is the early Section 1 favorite. Warwick is probably the early Section 2 favorite, so should be a pretty good game. The other one I'm keeping my eye on is Section 3-4 crossover when Elko goes to Lampeter Strasburg. Um, LS, defending Section 3 champ, probably an early Section 3 favorite. Seth Beers, top scorer in the LL League, four of his first five games. Um, he scored 20 or more points. He posted back-to-back 26-point -back games Friday and Monday. Nice. Elko, by the way, they pretty much bring back everybody from last year's district playoff team. They've had three different players score 20 or more points already good in start. games so far. So they're pretty loaded. That should be a pretty good game. Lastly, out here at McCaskey, um, interesting story with the Red Tornado. Second-year coach Freddie Ramos brought back just two Two players from the entire roster last year, Makaya Ortiz Gray and Isaiah Thomas, mixing a plenty, a plenty of new faces with that, including Elijah Terry, who spent the last three seasons at Lancaster Mennonite. Yes. Terry's right there as one of the top scorers. He already posted uh, 32 points in last week's uh, loss at Reading. One of two LL players posted 30 or more points already wow. this season. So with that said, we decided to stop out here to McCaskey, see what's brewing with the Red Tornado. All right, Coach, I know you're coming into this year, Makai Ortiz Gray, Isaiah Thomas are back. Only two players from that entire roster, so there's been a lot of pairing with a lot of new faces. How's that going so far and, and getting these guys to gel as one team? Yeah, I think definitely the offseason was really important for us with that, just getting time together, both on the court and off the court. You know, we did a couple of things, did Philly Trib, did Fish Hatchery. I've never been to one, but, you know, a lot of our guys. So just some different ideas for getting us doing some things both on the floor, and off, you know, so that that's helped a good bit with everybody. Weight room worked us really well as well that time together. You know, what we did is twice a week we'd go in and just work out together and not come into gym at all, you know. So and then the other days, of course, we'd pick a basketball up. So definitely part of the plan. I didn't think we were strong enough last year, um, especially defensively. I thought that showed. So we really went in, you know, just wanting to get stronger, but do some things that were a little unique. We got into CrossFit this year also, which was new for our guys. But again, all that, all those ideas were fresh to everybody and kept, kept the energy up. How would you kind of describe the strengths of this bunch so far? Together, it's probably the biggest thing. And I'd say defensively, I can see our improvement. You know, I think last year, just looking at the league, we were like, you know, in the bottom two or three. You know, right now we're about the middle of the pack. I, I think that'll be a, a new strength for us this year, you know, just playing stronger, tougher defense, communicating, you're hearing some of that now, and offensively sharing the ball, you know, just moving the ball and moving without the ball are other things that, you know, that, that I, I think, you know, will be an improvement versus last year. Coach is saying uh, how you guys finished near the bottom of the league in defense this year, about middle of the pack so far uh, this season. What's going into that defensive effort? What's changed outside of you just taking charges? Um, everybody just stepping up. Uh, just sli sliding our feet, just having our hands up, just communicating, just, just being a family, just, just knowing that we got our, each other's backs each and every day and we can do this. What do you still got to work on at this point? At this point, I have to just tighten up the little things, knowing when to shoot it, when to pass it at the right moments. How much fun has it been playing with Elijah Terry? That's been good. That's my guy. I've been playing with him since like eight. Like, we've been playing Rack League, Deja Vu, AAU. We just finished up AAU with uh, the Nook. This year, so it's been fun. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. All right. Thanks to McCaskey for having us out yes. in those interviews. Enough of boys basketball. Yes. On to girls hoops. Girls hoops. Here we go. Three things for the week, John. Ready? Two 1,000-point scorers last week in the league. Ashanti Duncan from uh, Lancaster Country Day and Katie Bushong from Mannheim Township both joined the 1,000-point club. Welcome to the club, ladies. Number two, two undefeated teams still. 6-0 and Lancaster Country Day. As of this recording. As of this recording, yes. Lancaster Country <laughs> Day playing great. 3-0 and in the section, 6-0 and overall for the Cougars. And Northern Lebanon, how about the Vikes? 5-0 and start for them. And uh, Zara Zerman's uh, been great, uh, 20 points a game. So Vikes and Cougars, both undefeated. 
going into Wednesday's games. A busy week here, mm -hmm. Wednesday, Friday. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, uh, three quick games to watch on Friday night. Here we go. Still doing these crossovers. Mannheim Township at Ephrata. I've seen uh, Township a couple of times here. Uh, Katie Bushong, as mentioned, got her thousandth. Congrats, Coach Sean Burkhart. Picked up his 150th Good win guy. this week. Great guy, fantastic. Effort has been playing well. Finally got to see Jasmine Griffin, and she scored 25 the night I saw them. LS at Elko, and I'll actually see you in Myerstown on Friday. Pioneers at Raiders. Uh, Emma Juilliard for LS dropped 34 on Donegal on Monday night. Wow. Have a That's night, a have a night, Emma. I'd say Elko tied for first here midweek in Section Four, and Mannheim Central at Lancaster Catholic. On Friday, Maddie Nyer, the freshman from Anaheim Central, got to see her last Saturday. She's good. She's really good. <laughs> uh, and Lancaster Catholic, two-time defending league and district champ. Good game there. Statement kind of game for the Barons. Should be fun. Township Ephrata, LS Elko, Central Catholic on Friday. And then next week, we'll be into the holiday tournaments. That's we'll right. be here before you know it. All right, that's it for girls. All right, and for more in-depth analysis of all LL basketball coverage, feel free to check out the basketball page on Lancaster Online. If you're not already subscribed, feel free to hit the one uh, the uh, subscribe button on Lancaster Online homepage. Uh, one dollar sports That's pass great. for those who just want sports stuff. You guys get get standings, schedules, box scores, etc. All the will be at lots of games yes, and all doing feature stuff. stories, yada yada. All right, for Jeff yeah. Reinhardt, I'm John Walk. Thanks to McCaskey for having us out here. We'll catch you guys after the holidays.